Recently, we did a lab test on the Liqui Moly Street Rest 10W40 synthetic engine oil, which revealed a lot of stuff about the engine oil and was appreciated by a lot of you guys. At the same time, I had given a 5000 km used sample of the Street Race for used oil analysis, which we are going to discuss in today's video that will reveal on how did the oil hold up at the end of the 5000 km along with the wear and tear analysis. To summarize this experience, this street race does give you that performance edge when you need it in stop and go traffic or during high speed continuous highway rides. I have mentioned this before that I really like the gear shift experience that this street race offers, but a lot of you guys have mentioned in the last video that nowadays the availability has become an issue plus the prices have gone really high, so much so that you must have seen me using the Portaline Antec Pro in my RTR 204V. Coming back to the topic of lab test, we will begin with the kinematic viscosity. At 40 degrees Celsius, as per our test report, the kinematic viscosity dropped from 92.11 mm2 per second to 64.09 mm2 per second. That is a significant drop which is expected from an oil running inside an engine for 5000 plus kilometers. I was more concerned about the kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius which started at 13.88 mm2 per second for the fresh oil and came out at 10.64 mm2 per second for the used oil. In both the cases, we have seen significant drop in viscosity after 5000 plus kilometers of riding. Although if we see the viscosity range, then it is still in favor of the RTR 204V which we used as it recommends 10W30 grade. But will it cause any additional wear and tear? Well, we will get to see that ahead in this video. Before going there, let's discuss about TBN, total base number, which neutralizes the acidic environment inside the engine. With the fresh oil, we started at an impressive 9.5 and after 5000 plus kilometers, we are now at 8.2, which is excellent and higher than what most of the fresh engine oils offer. After such heavy running, the base oil along with the additive is expected to show some breakdown that leads to drop in flash point. With the fresh oil, we had a flash point of 230 degrees and after 5000 plus kilometers, the flash point stood at 184 degrees Celsius. Finally, coming to the wear and tear analysis, where we will come to know about the wear and tear faced by the engine after doing 5000 plus kilometers of running in a mix of heavy traffic and couple of long distance highway run. We will start this with iron, which forms the major composition of engine and transmission. In our case, we got 28 parts per million of iron, which is way under the limit and stands in between what we got with other premium oils from Adenol, Motul and Castrol Power One Ultimate. The same is our case with aluminium at 32 parts per million. This would have been a concern for me if it crossed 50 parts per million. I remember the Shell Advance Ultra and the Adenol Racing 40 had given us less than 10 parts per million of aluminium in their wear and tear analysis report. Next comes chromium which forms an important part of bearings, piston rings, valves, rollers, etc. In our used oil report for the street race, we got 12 parts per million of chromium which is good and the low number shows the oil's ability to protect the engine parts. Something similar was observed with copper which is a part of the piston and cam bushings along with washers, sleeves and being a common sum, we have to consider the copper in the clutch plates as well. Considering all of this, we got 28 parts per million of copper in our 5000 plus kilometer run oil, which shows good level of anti wear and protection offered by the Liqui Moly Street Trace. In terms of contamination, we got negligible source of sodium, potassium, and some silicon. About the additive elements, I will urge and push you to check the fresh oil analysis done on the Liqui Moly Street Race 10W40 from the link in the description or in the pinned comment which will reveal a lot of stuff about this engine oil. I guess the lab test numbers dictate the verdict on the Liqui Moly Street Race 10W40. Adding to it, I must share that in this 5000 km, no top up was required where the oil maintained its level. I would love to read your thoughts on this lab test videos in the comments. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.